So today I rode in the car with my two best friends. I was gonna say Jackie and Ty. No, uh, Zach and Catherine. And um, on the way back, we were talking about religious relationships. And I'm learning to take notes. All right, let me see here. First of all, I realized that relationships at the end are always 2020. I think I've been meaning to find the words to this, but it's not exactly the easiest thing to do. What I mean by hindsight is 2020. Some of you already know this. After a relationship, it's always kind of like, oh, I should have seen, or they did this wrong and they did that wrong. But honestly, it's not really 2020 because rarely do you ever see what you did wrong. The other person is always kind of like, how dare they, how dare they. And I try, even myself, I try to kind of like not fall into that pattern of curse the ex, curse the ex. I usually try to go, okay, you did this, which is why we are not a thing. Um, or sometimes I'm, I might even be like, look, I, I, I just couldn't get past this. And that's why we can't be a thing because that thing's so ingra ingrained into you. It, there's, 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 not, there's no room for anything else. So as much as I always say that relationships always have a hindsight of being 2020, is not because most people tend to only go, okay, the ex did this. And then later on, maybe on, they're like, you know what? Maybe I was kind of a bitch back then. Or maybe I was kind of a, you know, a prick back then. You know, I could have done more. And that's actually another thing I write down here. Try harder than you did before. Catherine was telling me about a, uh, a relative of hers who had a who had a husband and he didn't do much around the house. And I always worry about what people thought that I did when I was married to my wife. I didn't go out. I didn't go out and I did play. I, 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 I watch Netflix every now and again. I play video games quite often. I mess with my computer. Um. My paranoid schizophrenia kind of makes it hard for me to go outside and kind of trust people without trying to get into a confrontation. <laughs> um, but I wasn't a bad guy, you know? She said, oh, so come and be like, oh, this place is a mess. I'm like, you know what? You're right. I'll get up and be like, all right, we'll take care of this. Or I'll take care of this. You, you know, you had a bed or whatever. You, you watch Xavier for a little bit. As in like, you know, just sit there and just kind of look at him do stuff. He, was, he really was very much... Uh, self-functioning <laughs> um i remember it took me a while to understand that certain things had to be cleaned regularly like more than like oh like once a month kind of thing like the toilet the tub more than once a month and i'm like okay that's what you want you know i'll try and sometimes i need a reminder but a lot of times it wouldn't even occur to me and it wouldn't be that i wouldn't be willing to do it. It just didn't occur to me because it's kind of like, did I just clean that tub? Did I just clean that toilet? Okay, I must have just cleaned that toilet. It might have been like a month or two. <laughs> it just doesn't occur to me. I always worry about falling back into that pattern of not being aware of certain things because I see a lot of other guys you, or, or other people in relationships, rather, um, who go, oh, well, they never did this and they never did that. And you know, some people who, who talk to me now about their relationship problems and they go, oh, she never does this and he never does that. And it's like, well, have you asked them, you know, to take care of that? And it was like, well, they should already know. Look, sometimes they don't. Sometimes it doesn't even occur to them. I know that Sue sometimes has a problem with certain people who she feels should just automatically just like, oh yeah, I need to go do something <laughs> that is related to this. And it's like, that's, at least that, for what my knowledge, that's not how I operate, nor do I ever, have I ever seen anybody else operate like that. Um, and also with, with that being said, if they did operate like that, then there'd be things that you should be doing that you ain't. And they just kind of go like, well, she just doesn't do that. Or he just doesn't do that. Shit. That's just the way it is. And they just kind of kick back and, you know, understand that's just how that person is. They're not going to be like, we're going to make you do something. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe maybe that's it. It's the idea like, oh, I don't want to make you do something. I want you to want to do it. Well, I don't want to do it. I, I, I don't, I don't want to clean the toilet. 
I'll do it because it needs to be done. And I understand if you go, oh, the toilet needs to be clean. All right, I take care of that. Help me figure out a system. Help me remember that, you know, that, this, this that, oh, the third. Boom, that's how that works. But like hindsight right now, it's kind of like, man, I don't know, I wish I had a timer. <laughs> like, oh, it's been 30 days. Better go clean that tub, clean that bathroom, you know, scrub the sh heck out of the stove oven or whatever. But like, I don't know. Like, she, I think of not enough people actually state what they want or what they desire. At first, they kind of go, well, I'm with somebody, and it's better than being alone. And it's true. Sometimes being with anybody, it doesn't even matter if the person's good or bad. Sometimes being with anybody is better than being alone. Um, but honestly, when you know what you want and what you desire, and then you look at the person that you chose, and you go, does this person fulfill that? And is it too late to see what we can do to fix that? I think too many people jump to the conclusion of, you don't make me happy right now on this Tuesday of March 2027. It's fucking over. And it's kind of like, well, well, shit, this is the first time I'm hearing about stuff. Do you want to work on something? No, I already have my girlfriend in the back over there. She's about to go take me over to Walmart. I'm like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> And I'm not saying this from my personal experience, but understand that it's, it's it's stories that I hear. It's people that do things on a regular basis. That this is just how people, like they people don't understand that your life is sucky. Your life is hard. Yeah, I get that. Everybody life, everybody gotta wake up. No one wakes up in the mansion that they didn't earn. You know this that, and the stuff. Everything else, like you know, just because life isn't what you desire, doesn't mean that your life is horrible. It means that you're not trying. I'm like, but I am. But the thing is that if you are, then you would understand that this is where you are is your is your own fruition. Yeah, there are things outside your own mechanics that happen. But if a relationship doesn't work, that's both parties. All right. Yeah, the outside factor is the other person, but the but what you do to make your relationship work, that's on you, right? I mean, like, do you split the chores? You know, do you try to be cool with the family members that they're associated with? But do you like them or not? Like, you don't have to be like, oh, I hate your mother all the time. And when she comes to the door, like, I fucking hate you, bitch. But like, that shit's not going to fly. But if you kind of go, oh, hey, Miss Johnson, how you doing? You know, want me to go get you something that you came in? And she acts ignorant. And like, okay, Miss Johnson, I hope you have a nice day. I'm going to go elsewhere. <laughs> it's not being a bitch. It's the idea of like, you be courteous, you be nice, you be responsible, respectful. Because later on, they're going to look back and be like, you know, you never should have dumped that dude. Or like, oh, you never should have left that girl. Because that girl, even when I treated her like nothing else, she still treated me like a person. So, you know, try to be cool. Say what you want and what you desire in a relationship, especially in a relationship. And try harder than you did before, as in what you did in previous relationships. I know one of my biggest things that people have always said to me is that like, oh, you always compare us to insert name. And honestly, I do. And it sucks. And I'm learning to not do that. I'm learning to not associate that behavior by that person's name and then associate that person with another person. And that sounds kind of complex. I know somebody out there gets it. <laughs> but it's still the idea that like, at first, that's how I thought I was doing better. All right. Like, if I'm in a relationship, I'm like, you know what? You do what so-and-so does. You know what? You're just like so-and-so. Peace. And it's kind of like one of those things like, oh, I'm I'm the 27th, Tuesday, 27th of March, because I'm not happy, I'm gone. Like, if you're not willing to work on it. And working on it does kind of mean or be aware of the mistakes that not only the other people have made against you, but also the mistakes that you have made as well. These things will help you see warning signs going, okay, I need to leave this relationship now before I, I'm, I'm in too deep. Because getting divorced is not happy. Breaking up, I, I'm like, I, I'm pretty sure if you ask anybody who's been divorced before, they much rather have broken up <laughs> before having to go through a divorce. So, know what you want, know what you desire. If you're in a relationship, figure out what you need to do before you relax. You go, oh, I've been working all day? Oh, hey, that's cool. When you get home, you still got shit to do. Your room can't be a mess. My room's a mess because I live by myself. <laughs> I got that board over there because I got shit that needs to get done. 
my dress is over there. This is my environment. If I ever had to share this environment with somebody else, I would have to realize I have to clean it up a little bit. A little bit. You all can't see the floor. Even if I point it at the floor, you're not seeing the floor. <laughs> I, it's just been a crazy past two days. I, like, I, I'll come in here, throw off my clothes, and go to bed. <laughs> but also, you know, just try. Just remember to try. If you feel that you want to give up, try to do better. If we go, oh, Dennis is so much of a freaking pain in my ass right now. Slap yourself, go back, and be like, why is he a pain in your ass? Oh, because I want him to do something. Did you tell him to do something? No, he should already know how to do it. Let's try a new truck right now. Hey, Gavin, what's up? Come here, come here, come here. What do you need? Your girl here wants you to go do something. What? Take out the trash. All right, shit. Psh, pick it up. Psh, look, shit. Trash outside. You're welcome. Psh, back out the light. Like, that's that's kind of how, like, that's how, that's how things function. <laughs> so, like, ask, talk, communicate, try harder, figure out how you're going to split chores up. And if something changes, be able to, like, be like, okay, well, Kay was telling me about her relative who wasn't working at the time, but her husband was. And, um... Her husband was working, but after a while, obviously, in this new economy that we live in, two people need to have a job in order to make money, like, to keep a household going. So she got a job, but he still expected her to kind of work the household even while she was working, even though she might have worked more hours than him. So it's kind of like, yeah, we probably need to come back to the negotiation table. We need to kind of talk about where where we are in hierarchy here. <laughs> Communication is all I'm saying. Because if you're not willing to communicate with your partner, then what do you got, right? Well, that's my two cents on that. There's something I wanted to get off my chest. I think I wanted to get it off my chest for a while. Not that I'm... I don't know what I'm doing. But like I said before my previous video, I have to move forward. She has. I'm not moving, I'm not moving forward because she is. I'm moving forward because maybe it's about time that I allow myself to forgive myself. Maybe even a monster like me can be happy, huh? I'll see you guys later, okay?